poetry, stories, and through the annals of history. It has been the subject of much bloodshed, brutality, and battle, yet it has survived through these centuries of conflict and upheaval. But never was there such turmoil as took place in August 1689, when Carrick Fergus Castle, which stood firm as a stronghold since the Norman era, fell under siege from the forces of King William III. It all began when the force of the William Mike troops were led by the veteran Huguenot commander Frederick Herman von Schomburg. He landed on these shores and laid siege to the Jacobite garrison of Carrick Fergus. In the castle of the town were an Irish army garrison which was used as a refuge for Catholic inhabitants of the region who fled to the safety of the Northern Rebellion against the reign of Roman Catholic King James II, and who became more threatening. We are here today exactly 300 years. 30 years later, to witness some of the events that took place during the Great Siege of Harry Fergus. And you will hear and see the sound of cannon, of musket, and the smell of gunpowder, which fills the air as the Siege of Harry Fergus unfolds. This was to be a series of events that were going to shape the course of history in both Ireland and the United Kingdom. It continues. Thank <laughs> you. 